In this video I'm gonna teach you how to make a black hole in After Effects. You can download the project file in the description down below. Making a new tutorial for each day of the year. Day 35 of 365. Let's start by making the stars. Make a solid layer with Ctrl Y and let's call this stars. And let's add the effect CC ball action. This is a lot of balls, so let's scatter this by increasing the scatter all the way to 1000 and let's decrease the ball size to something like this. And that's how easy you have a star field. So you can even move around like if you were moving in the space by moving the displays. But this doesn't look too much like stars, so we are going to add a cross blur, a CC cross blur. And let's increase this in both sides like 10 or even more, because if we increase this, let's say to 50, you can see what it does this blur. We don't need this to be too blurry, so let's keep it in 10 or 50. Now let's add a little glow to the stars, so add the effect glow, increase the threshold to 100% and increase the radius a little bit. You can see in the bigger star how it looks the glow. So until you have a little glow like this, then just duplicate the glow. There you go. And if you want to change the colors of the stars, you have to change the color of the solid layer. So press Ctrl Shift Y. And here you can change the color of your solid layer. If you like, I don't know, some red stars, <laughs> you can make some red stars here. I'm gonna make this smaller, like 20. Okay, we have our stars, but the background is like too. <laughs> too dark so to give it some color I'm gonna add a gradient so go here select the rectangle tool and double click it there you go move it below the stars layer let's call this I don't know background <laughs> and click here in fill and select radial gradients now you will have these two points to move the gradients you can change the colors of the gradient here. Make sure to make them dark because I don't think the space is too bright. We already have the stars and the background. Now let's make the black hole. Grab the ellipse tool here and make an ellipse holding Ctrl and Shift. Make it the size you want and you can center it with Ctrl Home, Ctrl Home. Now let's change the fill to solid color because black holes are black <laughs> and let's rename this black hole so we have the black hole but we don't have the distortion so let's add a adjustment layer it will be the distortion for the black hole so press ctrl alt y and let's call this layer distortion move it below the black hole and let's add the effect cc flow motion there you go and you will see you have these two points if for example i have the first point and increase the amount here you will see it distorts all below this layer to avoid these these black areas we have to add a motion tile and move it above now we have to oh oh that fix it well <laughs> i was thinking of increasing these values but it's already fixed. <laughs> now we have to parent this point to the black hole. So go to the position of the black hole, press P, go to the distortion and double click the not one property and you will find it here. Now grab the pick whip for this property and select the position of the black hole. Now let's adjust the distortion. It should be a negative value between minus 5 or minus 8 it's right so there you have the the black hole with the distortion i'm gonna improve this by adding a gaussian blur to the black hole and let me increase this we have to uncheck this box because if we increase too much the blurriness you will see the black hole now is a square hole so uncheck this box there you go 
and keep this i recommend you below 100 so something like 50 or 20 now we can animate the position of this black hole make a keyframe here let's start let's say here and move it to like here i'm gonna trim the work area with n and let's preview the the animation <laughs> It's like a really fast black hole. Another way you can animate this is by going here to the stars and here in the CC ball action effect, you can move the twist angle. You see the camera orbits around the, the black hole and if you want to change the axis of the rotation, change here the X to Y, you will start rotating to the other side. Or you can even put C, it rotates from this side. So you just have to make a keyframe here to twist angle, go forward, and let's set here to one full rotation. There you have it. Or even change to a combined rotation, like X and Y, and you will have this, this animation. But to keep it simple, you can just select Y, and you have this simple animation but it's really cool so i'm gonna leave this project file in the description down below so you can download it for free and that's all for today's video see you in the next tutorial see ya